You reach into your pocket, nothing. Your phone is gone. Instantly panic sets in. It's a feeling of sudden vulnerability, as if a part of you is missing. Your mind starts racing, trying to recall the last time you had it. Was it just a moment ago, or has it been longer? The realization hits hard and the anxiety begins to build. Your digital life, photos, contacts, banking apps, is suddenly out of your hands. It's not just a device, it's a gateway to your world. Every app holds a piece of your life, from cherished memories captured in photos, to essential contacts and sensitive banking information. The thought of someone else accessing this is terrifying. Did you leave it at the cafe? Was it stolen? Your mind races. You replay your steps, trying to pinpoint the exact moment it disappeared. You ask around, hoping someone has seen it, but each inquiry only adds to the growing sense of dread. You try calling it, retracing your steps, but there's no luck. Each unanswered ring feels like a countdown, a reminder of the ticking clock. The silence on the other end is deafening, amplifying your frustration and helplessness. The phone might be off, dead, or in someone else's hands. The possibilities are endless and unsettling. You imagine it lying somewhere, unnoticed or worse, in the possession of someone with ill intentions. Desperate, you search online for solutions, secret codes, special tools, anything to get it back. The internet is a vast resource, promising quick fixes and miracle solutions. You dive into forums, hoping for a glimmer of hope, a method that might just work. The internet promises you can track your phone with just a few clicks, using its IMI number and some hacker software. It sounds almost too good to be true, like a scene from a spy movie where technology solves everything with a simple command. It sounds like a spy movie, type a command, see your phone's location pop up on a map. The allure of such technology is strong, offering a sense of control in a situation that feels overwhelmingly out of your hands. But is it really that easy? The skepticism creeps in as you read through the claims. The reality is often far from the promises made by these websites, and you start to question the legitimacy of these methods. The truth is, most of these claims are exaggerated or outright false. The disappointment is palpable as you realize that the solutions offered are not as straightforward as they seem. Many are scams, preying on your desperation. Tracking a lost phone isn't as simple as the internet makes it seem. The process is often complex, requiring technical know-how and sometimes even legal permissions. It's a maze of information that can be overwhelming. There are technical, legal, and ethical barriers you need to know about. Understanding these barriers is crucial, as they dictate what is possible and what crosses the line into illegality or ethical gray areas. In this guide, we'll separate fact from fiction. We aim to provide clarity in a sea of misinformation helping you navigate the complexities of phone recovery with a clear understanding of what can truly be done. We'll show you what's actually possible and what you should do to protect your data. Let's get started. By taking proactive steps, you can safeguard your information and minimize the risk of loss in the future. Let's dive into the practical measures you can take right now. Every mobile phone in the world has a unique identifier known as the IMEI, which stands for International Mobile Equipment Identity. Think of it as your phone's digital fingerprint. No two devices share the same IMEI, making it a powerful tool for identification. The IMEI is a 15-digit code, carefully assigned to each device during the manufacturing process. This number is permanently linked to your phone's hardware, and it's what sets your device apart from millions of others around the globe. No matter how many times you change your SIM card, or even if you use your phone in a different country, the IMEI remains the same. It's not tied to your phone number or your account, but to the device itself. You can easily find your IMEI by dialing JAZZ 06 I bars on your phone's keypad, or by checking the original box your phone came in. Sometimes, it's also printed on a sticker under your phone's battery or in the device settings. Mobile carriers and phone manufacturers use the IMEI to verify the authenticity of devices, if your phone is ever lost or stolen, the IMEI allows carriers to block it from accessing their networks, making it much harder for thieves to use or resell. When a phone is blacklisted using its IMEI, it can no longer make calls, send texts, or use mobile data on most networks worldwide. This is a key security feature that helps protect your personal information and discourages theft. Many people believe that knowing the IMEI means you can track your phone's location at any time. 
While it's true that the IMEI is used in network systems, tracking a phone this way isn't as simple as it sounds. In reality, only your mobile carrier has access to the network data associated with your IMEI. They can see when and where your device connects to their towers, but this information is kept strictly confidential. Due to strict privacy laws and regulations, carriers are not allowed to share this sensitive data with individuals. Your personal information and location history are protected by law, so you can't simply call your carrier and ask for your phone's whereabouts. However, law enforcement agencies can request access to this information if your phone is stolen or involved in a crime, but only if they have a valid warrant or court order. So, while the IMEI is essential for blocking a stolen phone and helping authorities investigate, it's not a magic tracking tool that individuals can use on their own. That's why it's important to keep your IMEI number safe and accessible. Write it down, save it somewhere secure, or take a photo of it. If your phone ever goes missing, providing the IMEI to your carrier and the police is your best chance of recovering it, or at least preventing misuse. Just remember, while the IMEI is a powerful security feature, it won't help you pinpoint your phone's exact location on a map. For that, you'll need to use dedicated tracking apps or services. Kaylee Linux is a specialized operating system for cybersecurity professionals. It's packed with tools for network analysis, security testing, and digital forensics. Movies and online myths make it seem like anyone can use Kaylee to hack or track devices. In reality, using Kali effectively requires deep technical knowledge. Some tools in Kali can analyze how phones talk to cell towers, in theory. But these are for controlled environments, not for breaking into real cellular networks. Just downloading Kali doesn't give you access to phone tracking superpowers. The idea that you can track a phone with Kali and an IMEI is a huge oversimplification. The real world is far more complex and secure than Hollywood suggests. Kali is for professionals, not for tracking lost phones at home. Online tutorials claim you can use Kali Linux and special software to track a phone by its IMEI. The theory, set up a rogue cell tower, scan for your phone's IMEI, and pinpoint its location. This involves expensive hardware, like software-defined radios, and complex scripts. In practice, you'd be intercepting signals from every phone nearby, not just yours. This is how law enforcement uses MC catchers, but it's highly illegal for private citizens. Modern networks have security features that block these attacks. Even if you had the gear, you'd be breaking the law and risking serious penalties, the process is not just difficult, it's nearly impossible for the average person. Forget the spy gadgets, this isn't a DIY solution. The risks and barriers are enormous. Trying to track a phone with IMEI and hacking tools isn't just hard, it's illegal. Intercepting cellular signals is a federal crime, with severe penalties. Using MSI catchers or rogue towers invades the privacy of everyone nearby, not just the thief. Law enforcement needs a warrant to use these tools. Private citizens have no such authority. Even if you could find your phone, confronting a thief is dangerous. You could end up in a risky situation or accuse the wrong person. The ethical risks are as high as the legal ones. Mistakes can harm innocent people and put you in danger. The right move is to use official channels and let professionals handle recovery. Don't risk your safety or freedom for a phone. The law is clear tracking like this is off limits. Stick to legal safe methods. The idea of tracking your phone with Kali Linux and an IMEI is pure fiction. Online videos and tutorials are often staged or scams. Many fake tools are loaded with malware that can steal your data. The real technology exists, but only for law enforcement, with strict oversight. You can't replicate it at home with free software. For regular users, the IMEI is for blacklisting, not tracking. Anyone promising live IMEI tracking is likely scamming you. Don't pay for shady services or download unknown software. The risks are huge and the chance of success is zero. Protect yourself by avoiding these traps. Focus on what actually works. When you lose your phone, panic can set in fast. But don't worry, there are official, reliable ways to track it down. The most effective methods are the built-in tracking features provided by Google for Android devices and Apple for iPhones. These tools are designed specifically to help you locate your lost phone quickly and securely, and they're free to use. If you're an Android user, simply open a web browser and go to google.com-android-find. 
sign in with the Google account linked to your lost phone. This will let you access all the tracking features Google offers. For iPhone users, you have two options. Use the Find My app directly on another Apple device or log in to iCloud.com, find from any web browser. Both methods give you access to powerful location and security tools. If your lost phone is connected to the internet, you'll see its real-time location displayed on a map. This makes it much easier to track down exactly where your device is. From there, you can make your phone ring loudly, even if it's on silent. Lock it remotely to keep your data safe, or display a custom message on the screen for anyone who finds it, asking them to contact you. For iPhones, activating lost mode not only locks your device but also disables Apple Pay, so your payment information stays protected until you recover your phone. Apple's Find My Network can even help you locate an iPhone that's offline by using Bluetooth signals from other nearby Apple devices. This means your phone can still be found, even if it's not connected to Wi-Fi or cellular data. To make sure these features work when you need them, it's crucial to enable them ahead of time. Don't wait until your phone is missing. Set up tracking now. On Android, go to Settings, then tap Security, and select Find My Device. Make sure it's turned on so you can locate your phone if it ever goes missing. On iPhone, open Settings, tap your name at the top, then choose Find My. Enable all the options, including Find My iPhone and Find My Network. Don't forget to turn on Send Last Location. This feature automatically sends your phone's last known location to Apple or Google when the battery is critically low, giving you a better chance of finding it. These official tools are your best, safest bet for recovering a lost phone. They're secure, easy to use, and designed to protect your privacy. Take just two minutes right now to check your settings and enable these features. It's a small step that could save you a lot of stress and hassle in the future. If you can't recover your phone right away, act fast to protect your data. Remotely lock your device using Find My Device or Find My iPhone. Display a message with a contact number for honest finders. If you're sure it's stolen, consider remotely erasing your phone. Remember, erasing it means you can't track it anymore, but your data stays safe. Contact your carrier, report the loss, and give them your IMEI. They'll blacklist the phone and suspend your service to prevent misuse. Change passwords for your Google Apple account, email, banking, and social media. This blocks access from the lost device and secures your accounts. It's a digital cleanup, but it's essential for your privacy. Act quickly. Your security depends on it. Losing a phone is stressful, but chasing hacker myths only makes things worse. Ignore online promises of IMI tracking with Kaylee Linux, they're scams or illegal. The best defense is preparation. Know your IMI, enable official tracking, and back up your data. If your phone goes missing, use Google or Apple's tools to locate, lock, or erase it. Never confront a thief or try to recover the phone yourself. Contact your carrier and the police. Let professionals handle it. Your phone is important, but your safety and privacy matter more. Be skeptical of magic solutions online. Stick to proven, legal methods. Protect your digital life by staying informed and prepared. Take action now, not after it's too late. Stay safe, stay smart, and keep your digital world secure. That's the best tech advice you'll ever get.